Some uh, many years ago, uh, Joseph Campbell, uh, whom I'm sure you know, uh, for lack of a better term, the famous mythologist, uh, came to Stockton uh, to speak. I think he was 80 at the time. He came on a Saturday. He spoke all day. He was he was quite extraordinary, and uh, told a story uh, which I've appropriated uh, it, it, it for this poem about a tiger cub that had been raised by goats. Uh, and it, the poem was about, uh, the story was about how crucial it is to find at some time in your life your essential face, your real face. And in his Jungian way, uh, he, he uh, said, if you don't do it by 35, you're in little trouble. Um, tiger face. Because you can be what you're not for only so long, one day the tiger cub raised by goats wandered to the lake and saw himself. It was astounding to have a face like that, cat handsome, hornless, and we can imagine he stared a long time, then sipped and pivoted, bemused yet burdened now with choice. The mother goat had nursed him, the others had tolerated his silly quickness and claws. Because once you know who you are, you need not rush, and good parents are a blessing, whoever they are. He went back to them, rubbing up against their bony shins, keeping his secret to himself. But after a while, the tiger who found his true face felt the disturbing hungers, those desires to get low in the reeds, switch his tail, switch his tail, charge. Because he was a cat, he disappeared without goodbyes. His goat parents relieved such a thing was gone. And we can imagine how alone and beyond choice, he wholly became who he was, that zebra or gazelle stirring the great blood rush and odd calm as he discovered while moving what needed to be done. Mm.